Dear friends, welcome to your personalized podcast. Today, we'll explore how AI-powered search engines are reshaping online searches while Google remains a strong contender, delve into the entrepreneurial journey of creating new desires and imagining new worlds, and discuss the essential steps in shipping successful projects in big tech companies. Join us for insights on these transformative topics. Imagine waking up to a world where you can find exactly what you're looking for on the internet without sifting through countless web pages. This is the vision behind AI-powered search engines, which are reshaping the landscape of traditional search. For decades, Google has been the unrivaled giant in the search industry, thanks to its vast repository of data and sophisticated algorithms. But now, with the rise of AI technology, the question arises, Will AI redefine the way we search, or is Google's dominance here to stay? To understand this shift, we need to look back at how Google became synonymous with internet searches. It wasn't the first on the scene. Early search engines like Archie and Yahoo had their moment. However, Google's founders, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, introduced an algorithm known as PageRank, which revolutionized how search results were ranked by considering the number and quality of links to a page. This approach made searches far more relevant and efficient, setting a new standard for how information was retrieved online. Today, Google handles over 8.5 billion queries daily, a testament to its central role in our digital lives. Its market share is impressive, holding steady at around 85% between 2014 and 2024. Yet as AI technology advances, the search landscape is beginning to shift. Companies like Microsoft and newer entrants like DuckDuckGo and Neva have attempted to challenge Google's throne, but they've struggled to capture significant market share. Despite DuckDuckGo's commitment to privacy and Neva's ad-free model, they've barely made a dent in Google's dominance. The emergence of AI-powered search engines presents a new twist in the tale. OpenAI, known for its generative AI models, has launched SearchGPT, which integrates AI into the search process, providing more organized and context-rich search results. Unlike traditional search engines that present a list of links, AI-powered search aims to deliver concise summaries and relevant insights directly. Imagine asking a complex question and receiving a well-researched answer, complete with source citations for further exploration. This is where AI-powered search engines like Perplexity are heading. They are designed to handle intricate queries and provide summaries that save users time and effort. While AI search engines excel at synthesizing information, they face challenges in areas where traditional search shines. For instance, when you want real-time information, like today's weather or sports scores, traditional search engines often provide quicker and more accurate results. Navigational searches, where users seek specific websites, are another stronghold of the traditional search. Google's ability to deliver the correct link in the first result is unmatched, whereas AI platforms often offer a stream of related information instead. Another layer to this evolving saga is the role of third-party cookies. Google's recent decision to delay their removal from Chrome highlights the tension between maintaining ad revenue and adapting to privacy concerns while other browsers like Safari and Firefox have blocked third-party cookies, Google's hesitance suggests a cautious approach to preserving its lucrative advertising model. This decision could have implications for both traditional and AI-driven search engines, as third-party data plays a crucial role in tailoring search results and advertisements. As AI technology continues to evolve, we can expect traditional search engines to integrate AI capabilities to enhance their offerings. The future might see a blend of AI insights with traditional search functions, creating a hybrid model that leverages the strengths of both worlds. For marketers, this shift will mean moving beyond keyword optimization to focus on understanding user intent and context. In essence, 
AI-powered search engines are not here to replace traditional search, but to complement it. As users, we stand to benefit from a more nuanced and efficient search experience, one that combines the depth of the traditional search with the precision of AI. The digital landscape is evolving, and while AI is unlikely to dethrone traditional search entirely, it will undoubtedly reshape how we interact with the vast sea of information online. While AI-powered search engines are redefining how we find information, let's explore how entrepreneurs create desires for innovations that the world didn't know it needed. Imagine standing in the bustling kitchen of a new restaurant. The chef, after months of preparation, is ready to serve an innovative menu full of unexpected flavors. But instead of sharing the crafted dishes, the chef turns to each diner and asks, what do you want to eat? This question, simple as it may seem, often leads to predictable answers, leaving the chef's creative potential unexplored. This scenario highlights a curious paradox in entrepreneurship. People often don't recognize what they want until it's shown to them. This is the essence of groundbreaking innovation. Many startups operate under the mantra, make something people want. It's a sound piece of advice, yet it can lead to an exhausting pursuit of market research, focus groups, and surveys, all aimed at unearthing existing needs. However, the uncomfortable truth is that most revolutionary products don't just meet existing demands. They create entirely new desires. Consider this. Before the iPhone, who needed a pocket-sized computer? Before Airbnb, who was eager to stay in strangers' homes? And who felt a need to share 280-character snippets of thought before Twitter? These innovations didn't merely solve problems. They reshaped our interactions with the world and generated their own demand. The transition from fulfilling needs to creating wants involves understanding the distinction between sequences and essences. Entrepreneurs often focus on essences, believing that there are fixed truths about what people need. Successful innovators, however, think in sequences, recognizing the fluid contexts that evolve over time, giving rise to new possibilities and desires. Take the automobile's journey. Henry Ford famously remarked, If I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. He realized that people's articulated needs were bounded by their current context. By introducing the Model T, Ford didn't just meet a need. He sparked a new category of desire. This is the magic of innovation, turning perceived needs into compelling wants. Practicing this transformative process begins with provocation. Exceptional entrepreneurs are provocateurs. They challenge norms, present unexpected possibilities, and create cognitive dissonance that begs for resolution. Several strategies can foster this approach. Embracing constraints, for instance, can ignite creativity. Twitter's character limit was not merely a technical solution. It forged a new expressive form. Similarly, solving problems involves envisioning future scenarios and addressing the challenges they might pose, much like Elon Musk's Neuralink, which tackles the hypothetical future issue of human AI integration. Moreover, creating productive discomfort can prompt change. Tesla didn't just sell electric cars. They made traditional vehicles seem outdated. Additionally, reframing familiar concepts, as Airbnb did with home sharing, can lead to powerful innovation. Lastly, finding unexpected synergies like combining gaming with personal finance can break new ground. While creating desire is potent, it raises ethical concerns. Is it manipulation to generate artificial wants? This question underscores the importance of ethical consideration in innovation. Creating desires should align with genuine human well-being. It's essential to ask whether a new desire enhances lives, empowers rather than exploits, and consider the long-term consequences. The aim is not to manipulate, 
but to illuminate new possibilities, expanding choices rather than limiting them. Another intriguing truth is that scalable ideas often originate from something initially unscalable. Facebook started as a Harvard network, and Amazon began with books. This initial small scale allowed these companies to craft unique experiences that generated demand as they expanded. Entrepreneurs faced the challenge of creating something unique, yet universal enough to scale. The solution lies in finding the human element that ties a niche offering to a wider audience. Creating desire is akin to navigating a maze. It involves cultivating a beginner's mind, seeing new possibilities in familiar landscapes. Embracing productive failure is also crucial. Not every attempt will succeed, but each provides valuable data. Building to learn rather than to last, encourages rapid prototyping to test ideas about desire. Listening to the silence or recognizing unarticulated needs can reveal the biggest opportunities. Lastly, maintaining humility is vital. Innovators are not imposing desires on a passive audience, but engaging with dynamic participants ready to learn and adapt. Ultimately, the most successful entrepreneurs do more than create products. They forge entire worlds. Apple crafted a realm where technology and design enhance life, and Uber ushered in a world of on-demand services. Entrepreneurs are tasked not just with solving problems or creating desires, but imagining and manifesting new ways of being. This requires not only business acumen, but also philosophical depth ethical integrity, and visionary insight. The next time you ponder what people want, consider a different question. What world do you aspire to create? What possibilities can you illuminate? What desires can you awaken to enrich lives? Answering these questions expands the horizons of possibility, capturing the true essence of entrepreneurship. Now, let's shift gears from entrepreneurial innovation to explore how projects are successfully shipped in big tech companies. Imagine this. You're part of a bustling tech company where ideas are constantly being transformed into tangible products. You're excited, jotting down notes on a new project, gearing up to write the necessary code. But hold on a second. There's more to this than just coding. Let's explore the art of shipping a project in a big tech company, an often misunderstood yet essential skill. Shipping a project is not just about writing impeccable code or ticking off tasks on a to-do list. It's about ensuring that the entire project, from conception to completion, reaches the finish line. The default state of a project is stagnation. It might get delayed, abandoned, or released prematurely with flaws. Shipping is the act of moving a project from this stagnation to a successful launch, a task that requires dedication and a singular focus. Many engineers fall into the trap of assuming that once the code is written, the project is ready to go. This misconception is common because shipping isn't about the technicalities alone. It's about managing the project effectively and ensuring all aspects align with the company's goals. The most successful projects usually have one dedicated individual, often called a technical lead or a directly responsible individual who takes ownership and guides the project through its life cycle. So what does it mean to ship a project in a large tech company? It's more than deploying a system or making a feature available. Shipping is a social construct within the company. It happens when the key stakeholders, your managers, VP or CEO, acknowledge and celebrate the project as completed. Without this recognition, no matter how well the system works or how much users love it, the project isn't considered shipped. The primary job of someone leading a project is to ensure that the company's leadership is satisfied with the outcome. This satisfaction could stem from various motivations generating revenue, expanding the user base, or fulfilling the wishes of an influential executive. 
understanding these motivations is crucial. For instance, enterprise features may not need a flashy interface but must meet specific requirements. Conversely, consumer-facing features need polish and user-friendliness. Communication is key. Leaders trust you to provide estimates, answer questions, and identify potential issues. They lack the technical context that you have, so maintaining their trust is vital. This means keeping them informed, projecting confidence, and demonstrating competence. It's more important to communicate effectively than to stick rigidly to deadlines or ensure a bug-free launch. If issues arise, addressing them confidently can even enhance your reputation, much like a hero who resolves a crisis and gains admiration. Now, while you focus on shipping, the technical aspects still matter. Problems can arise from unexpected corners, technical, legal, or logistical. Maybe a system component can't handle the traffic, or legal restrictions apply to some data. Handling such issues requires a deep understanding of the system and the ability to pivot quickly with solutions that don't derail timelines. One effective strategy is to deploy early and often. This approach allows you and others to identify potential problems before they escalate. Feature flags and staging environments can facilitate early testing and feedback. When you ask yourself, can I ship this right now? Not tomorrow or next week, you're preparing for any roadblocks. Having contingency plans boosts leadership's confidence in you. If a delay is unavoidable, Offering alternatives can shift the narrative from a setback to a well-managed situation. Deployment fears are natural, but the key is to confront them by deploying as early as possible, especially for the most daunting changes. In essence, shipping a project requires making it your primary focus, ensuring alignment with leadership goals, maintaining trust, anticipating problems, and having the courage to deploy and adapt. With this understanding, projects don't just get completed. They succeed in the eyes of those who matter. We've explored how AI-powered search engines are reshaping the search landscape, the entrepreneurial journey of creating new desires, and the intricacies of shipping projects in big tech. Thanks for tuning in today. Stay tuned for more updates. Dear friends, 